गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम प्रोसेसर एंड कंट्रोलर 8051 पिन डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ द एम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज टू फेमिलराइज द स्टूडेंट विद द बेसिक डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ 8051 पिन डायग्राम मींस आफ्टर दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न ऑल द पिन्स ऑफ 8051 माइक्रो कंट्रोलर Now the objective: identify the different pin of 8051 and their function. Understand the uses of pins in 8051 microcontroller. Now connect an external device to 8051. Learning outcomes: describe the basic use of 8051. Describe the pin diagram of 8051 microcontroller. Simply design circuit using the 8051 pins. Now, 8051 pin description means 8051 means a microcontroller. A microcontroller is a device that have all the things with it. Means RAM, ROM, I/O ports, everything is in a single IC. Everything is in a single IC. Okay, it is a 40 pin DIP. DIP means dual inline package. 40 pins means starting from one to 40 and if we take a ic and in front of us see this symbol this symbol is cutting okay and from the left side start counting this is the pin 1 means port 1 is starting from here okay now goes down pin 20 and now move right side here 21 and then goes up to 40 This is the sequence of the pins, like that. This is the sequence of the pin, like that. This is down side, then this side, and then up side. Okay. Now, eight zero five ones pins have more than one function also. Means they have alternate functions with. Okay. by programming we can select the functions if we want to use it as an input output port or if we want to use it as an special function okay now this is the io pins or 4 8 bit 4 8 bit. bit means each port have 8 bit p0 p1 p2 p3 and in this form we cover 32 pins and rest 8 pin have their specific functions so we have studied about these 40 pins in this session okay and all ports are multiplex except port 1 means all the three ports can be directly used for input output but we cannot use port 1 has a directly input or output we should connect an external circuit to this we will study that in port 1 okay each port consist of a latch and output driver and input buffer now this is the basic showing all the pins port 0 then port 1 then port 2 or then port 3 a total of 32 pins okay 32 pins are covered by these four ports and the rest pin is pin number 9 reset circuit pin number 18 19 for crystal external crystal and 20 for ground and 29 for pscn then ale then ea and then 40 and these are the eight pins okay So we will study about these all pins. Now, when we press reset circuit, then all the ports are configured as input port. Okay. Now, if we want to use an output port, we should transfer zero to all the ports. Okay. Or if we want to use a particular pin. we can also set a particular pin he has an input or 
आउटपुट ओके और इफ वी वॉन्ट टू रिकॉन्फिगर हैज एन इनपुट पोर्ट देन वी मस्ट हैव टू ट्रांसफर वन टू ऑल द पोर्ट और ऑल द पिन और ए पर्टिकुलर पोर्ट और ए पर्टिकुलर पिन दैट वी हैव टू यूज एंड दिस कैन बी डन बाय द प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम पोर्ट जीरो थर्टी टू टू थर्टी नाइन हेयर थर्टी टू टू थर्टी नाइन दिस इज पोर्ट जीरो हैज अर्ली आई सेड we cannot used port 0 directly has an input or output we must connect a circuit that is called pull up register because the port 1 is an open drain okay so we have to connect it 10k resistance to each pin to work has an input okay like that this is the circuit that we have to connect to the port 0 For working it, for working it like an input or output port. Okay. Now, port zero, we can use it as an input or output. As we earlier said, maxim uh, most of the port have dual functioning, and it is it have dual functioning with address and data. Means it can be used as address bus or data bus. A D zero to A D seven. both data and address can be used in this okay or for that we have to write an program for working of that now port 1 1 2 8 here 1 2 8 this is port 1 no other function is written with this port means this port only used has an input or output okay or like port, like in port 0 we should require a pull up register but in port 1 we cannot required any pull up register and it can be directly used as an input or output port okay upon reset port 1 is configured as an input port when we press reset button port 1 is used as an input res input port okay now port 2 port 2 is from 21 to 28 here 21 to 28 okay as it is clearly mentioned in that it have other functions also okay starting from ad8 to ad15 okay now if you want port 2 has an input port we must write one to all the pins then we can use it as an input port okay now it have a second function what is this it has a address and data address and data transfer also okay if we want to transfer 16 bit data we have to combine these two ports for transferring of 16 bit data 8031 based systems okay now port 2 is also design has a8 to a15 means for address messages okay or now port 0 is for a0 to a7 so we combine this now we can transfer 16 bit data next port 3 port 3 is from pin number 10 to 17 here pin number 10 to 17 okay it also have a specific function of s every single pin have their specific function in port 3 okay it it also does not require any pull up register for working as an input or output port okay or port 3 is not commonly used as an input or output because it have a particular functions okay and pin number 3.6 or 3.7 they can be used in a input or input or output pins but rest of the pins have their specific functions we can also use an input output but they have a specific function so we will go for 
these functions okay now pin number 10 or 11 receiver transmitter for serial communication pin number 12 or 13 interrupt 0 interrupt 1 has an external interrupt pin number 14 or 15 t0 and t1 has a timer or pin number 16 or 17 as in read write signal from external memory okay now next till now we have studied about port 0 port 1 port 2 and port 3 these all are have 8 bits okay means 32 pins we have studied the rest 8 pins now the first one is the reset this is at pin number 9. When we press reset button, the registered set to their initial value. Okay. Now, the next pin is the PSCN. It have a bar on this. Now, it means it is active low pins. Means when 0 supply to this, it is enable. When 1 supply to this, it is not enable. Okay. This pin is the 29 number pin. Okay. Stands for program store enable. When low read data from the external program memory. EAVP. Now next pin is the EA or slash VP. Pin number 31. Pin number 31 external ss pin it is an active low pin okay it's also work when zero is supplied when zero then external rom when supply high then internal rom okay if we want to read data from the internal memory then we supply it to high volt high pin or when we want to use external then we supply it to zero means connected to ground or means connected to VCC, VCC 5 volt, okay. ALN program, pin number 30 is a address latch enable, okay. This is pin number 30, address latch enable. When this pin is high, work as an address latch enable mode or when goes low, then it work as in programming code memory okay now the next is the crystal 1 crystal 2 here these are crystal 1 crystal 2 x1 x2 these are connected at pin number 18 or 19 this is generally this crystal is of quartz crystal os oscillator or approximate it is 12 megahertz frequency okay Now, we will study about the four ports and the rest eight pins. We will know everything about the pin. Now, your task is to make a basic circuit of microcontroller. This is, that is necessary for its working. Okay. Now, from here, from here, if we cut from here, this is the basic circuit of microcontroller that is necessary for it working. Now, pin number 9 has we already studied reset. Okay. Then, a switch for reset purpose, a capacitor and a resistor. Make this whole circuit is known as reset circuit. What? Reset circuit that is necessary for resetting the microcontroller okay now ne next is the crystal oscillator this is the crystal oscillator approximate 12 megahertz okay uh, it is connected with capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 its value is 33 pf okay now the ground pin 20 number is connected to ground and vcc connected to 5 volt and the external ss pin 31 connected to 5 volt means we are using its on memory means internal memory internal memory using okay now after making this basic circuit you are you should make a circuit of two blink led this is led 
and this circuit is connected to port 10 okay so for that you should write a program to blink led means continuous continuously at p1 that is on or off data is transferring and to this led and this led perform a blinking operation okay now these are some self assessment question and based on your study you should read these these are some descriptive questions and all the questions are answered in the previous slides so you should write your answer from the previous slides these are the references books and site website links thank you